Hey guys, how's it going? Um, in our last video, we learned how to consolidate data from all the sheets within a workbook. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to consolidate or import data from all the files within a folder. So give an example. Here is a folder I have um, called raw data. And uh, within this folder, you can see we have a different type of Excel file like Excelism.csv. We have uh, XLSX and so on and .xls. If you are receiving this type of file from different um, member of you at work and you have to consolidate, this become very handy. I'll quickly show you the code that we wrote in our last video. Basically, uh, a simple code that co just copies the data from one worksheet called US and pastes them to the consolidated. And here in the main code, we are looping through all the worksheets. And then uh, we are copying data from that worksheet and pasting it to the consolidated worksheet right here. A similar code, uh, but the different thing here is that uh, I've written a small function. Basically, we're using a dir function, which is directory function. So in this function, one, once you call this function, it's basically going to return all the attributes of the folder or a file as passed uh, by a parameter. It will return a string representing like a name of the file or a name of folder for example and coming down here this code is basically the same thing um, that we have written earlier but I'll quickly walk you through this code that um, what is supposed to be doing so example um, quickly here again this function will take in two parameters the folder and the file extension so that can be the like the xls files or like the txt files for example and um, once the parameter is passed and reads here, it keeps on it will keep on looping through uh, all the files or like uh, the dir function or the str file does not return anything anymore. Basically, it will keep on looping till the time it returns the value. Once so we get the name of the, if I just try to uh, just call this right now from the uh, immediate window. If I just call it like this, this is the name of the function, this function, and then this is the name of the part from where I want to import the data, and this is the name of the file type. If I just run this now, it will return me. Uh, let's try to do this. If I run this now, it will return me a list of all the files within that folder, which is right here. If I remove this, uh, the type XLS, and I just put a star, for example, is going to return me all the files, including the PDF, the dot, dot .txt, and so on. Um, just coming back to the code, to the main code where it's going to get the data. This, this function is basically going to um, open, uh, you know, like take a parameter for the workbook path. Uh, it will be like this, for example, like this. It will take the whole path um, in the function, and then uh, let me just get rid of this as a part of the test. So basically, here what the code is basically doing is like it's declaring a workbook. Uh, taking the name of this, uh, the part that was passed is going to open the workbook, and then within the workbook is going to assign which range you want to copy. So, uh, for example, this is the file, one of the file I opened from the row folder, and if you check till the bottom of the worksheet, you'll see this is till 1001. For example, it will dynamically find out what is the last row with the data based on C colon. It will go here and check what is the last row of data. And then once we have that, it's going to copy the data from sheet 1. So what is the first sheet within the within your row file is going to copy range from A2 till L and whatever is the last row. For example, from A2 till L, which is here, and it's going to copy this till this area. So I'm just going to highlight it so that it's easier for you. So here, it's going to copy it till here. Once it copies the data, copy range, copy is going to come to this workbook. In the admin workbook, this client TV is where I want to paste the data. Here, I'm going to move this 
range up here. Basically, after the data is being copied, it's going to come and find out what is the last row with the data and then paste it below that. For example, here, if you look here, row, uh, in column C uh, of the client table, uh, the last row is one is data in the second row, which is here, right? Similarly, um, this is where it's going to paste the data in B column, and then it's going to find a new, uh, the last row with the, with the data. For example, after the data is being pasted here, it's going to identify this as a new row with the last, um, no, the new row with the data, last row with the new data. Okay. After that, it's going to basically, uh, here I've just added one thing that I want to see from where the files, the data are being copied or imported from. So here it will take the name of the file to be us uh, 500csv in this example. Uh, after that, uh, so it's going to take here, um, this is basically the range construction. So within this sheet, I want to pick up the range from um, the first row. This is space destination row, wherever we paste the data. That will be our first row for this data source. And the new last row is the one after the data is being pasted. We identify the row again. And then we're saying this range, the, this tag range, the value will be the name of the workbook. And then we're just clearing the clipboard. And then we're clearing the range here. And then um, that's it. The function basically will do that. So if I just try to run this now, I was trying to, you know, like test the code out earlier before I can show it to you. And basically around 700 files took around less than two minutes to consolidate around thousand rows each in each of this workbook. I'm gonna close this for now without saving it. Give it a try. So basically here in this, um, I'm just trying to test out this, um, these two functions together. Once this function is being called, it is going to call this get data function from here and it will pass the name of the folder and whatever the name of the file is at that point of the loop. Give it a try. I'm going to run this in this, uh, in this processor. Basically it's going to print out this time, start and end time, or we can quickly write, uh, write, uh, dim start time as date and then we can say end time as well as date start time is going to be now and end time is going to be now minus the start time so and then we can debug dot this and then we'll say end time and time is actually supposed to be the total time format this in the hour, minute, and seconds. So call this total time instead of end time. Okay. So give it a run. So I'll quickly run it for um, for this file. So this is just about 11 files and two of them are not Excel files. So it's gonna, the code is going to skip them. Just give it a shot. Quickly debug for the first file and then we'll run the rest very quickly. So it's gonna start. Let's quickly restructure this so we can see what's happening at the background. So I'm gonna start to debug calling this function files in directory. And then it's, pass, it's taken two parameters, the folder pod extension. So if I go through this further, uh, here it has, it has assigned, you know, like au500.xls as the first file within this folder. And then we are calling this function. It comes here, it opens the file. This is the file that is open up. In this file, it got the last row as 501. It said the copy range from A2 to L and then the last row and then it copies the range and then within that uh, 
to the workbook where we have the micro that's where we want to bring in the data instead of going to that workbook it just identifies uh, without moving here and there you know like the processing time is going to be impacted uh, hugely impacted by this method assigns a new row and then it just tags uh, it's going to tag it it's done for one workbook and then it just closed that workbook and then clears the memory and then goes on to process the next one. So if I come back here, you see like it has pasted the data and then it has done the tagging as well. Looks like the tagging needs to start from uh, one row up. So I'll just quickly fix that. Tagging range dot range. So the starting is here. I put one. This should have been just the same row. So okay. Let's try to quickly run it for all the files within the folder. I'm going to give it a shot. If you observe down here, you'll see, you know, like the processing. Two, three, four, five, all the files are done. If you look here, you'll see it has import data from all these files. And then this is the data set. Uh, this is how you can. Uh, this is how you can import data from you know like uh you know like all the files within the folder this is the easiest way that you can use without referencing anything uh so that you know like uh, it's easier to share the file as well with your users um now i'm just gonna go ahead and run it for all these files within the folder and we'll see how much time does it takes i'm gonna cut just take all these samples with similar set of data i'm gonna bring it here in the same folder I'll just replace the existing ones. About 700 files, and then we're gonna see how long does it take to. Uh, these five files took about two seconds. The med will be uh, pretty similar based on how huge the file is, how responsive your network drive or your local drive is. Quickly give it a run. Um, I'll just clear off everything here. And. Um, let's just try it for around 300 files or so uh, because for the sake of time i'll just show a smaller demo now we have around 290 292 items here quickly run for all these files and then we'll see how much time it takes to import all these files okay so i'm gonna run this so it's started as you can see down here you can see like the files is being imported i have turned off the screen updating so you will not able to see what is going on at the you know like the backend except for the status bar down here that you can see um guys uh, i hope you found this informative and um if you have not subscribed to our channel please do not forget to subscribe and like our video uh, it really helps to you know like motivates us to do more video like this for our users um so yep yeah, um looks like our file processing is complete not all the files there are dot xls so it's it took about uh 31 seconds to process 86 files within that folder if i put on a filter here you see that it has import data from all these files within that folder so so guys, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you found this informative. I'm gonna, uh, as usual, I'm gonna post this code and the file in in the blog. Feel free to download from there and play around. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'll post the email ID as well as you know, like you can post just below the video as well if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.